are at war. We need a team. Guys. You miss me? Sure about this? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. This film is not yet rated. Hey YouTubers, Hankster here, and welcome to another movie review. And it's the movie review we've all been waiting for. It is the review of Avengers, starring uh, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, Samuel L. Jackson, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, and Tom Hiddleston. Now, of course, uh, as we all know, this uh, movie has been uh, mentioned for the past uh, four years since the releases of both The Incredible Hulk and, Iron the, and the, of course, the original Iron Man movie back in 2008. Uh, more hype uh, came up uh, during the second Iron Man movie in 2010 and, of course, uh, with last year's releases of Thor and Captain America. And, of course, I, I got to say this, this has been definitely worth the four-year wait. This is, I have to say, one of the best superhero movies uh, 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 pretty much of all time, uh, mostly because you got this great uh, unionization of all the, uh, these movie superheroes all in one um, movie um, and of course along with uh, special effects and everything it, it, did, it did turn out quite well and I do suggest you guys go catch it um, and now to the plot without giving out uh, too many spoilers um, we, of course uh, Loki has returned to Earth um, in search of the, uh, I can't really pronounce the actual name of it let's just call it the Cosmic Cube uh, from, uh, Cap from the Captain America movie which of course was uh, used by the Red Skull uh, of course uh, the uh, group S.H.I.E.L.D. had got acquired it while searching for Captain America and um, the uh, and of course, they've been trying to harness its power um, for uh, many reasons. Of course, there is a ominous reason uh, to be revealed when you go see this movie. I'm not going to give that away, but there is a sort of a dark reason why Shield has a big interest on the Cosmic Cube. Now, of course, um, if most people might not be paying attention, uh, this is based on the ultimate Marvel Universe as opposed to the original Marvel Universe, especially because of Samuel L. Jackson's portrayal of, uh, of uh, Nick Fury. Um, so this is, you know, basically uh, the um, version for the alternate for the ultimate. Uh, Marvel Universe, of course, also with the origins of the Hulk, um, and this is, of course, he is supposed to be the uh, the result of uh, the shields or the government's attempt to try to replicate the uh, Captain America uh, super formula, the super strength formula that um, you know turned uh, Steve Rogers into Captain America, uh, which of course uh, they've been trying to replicate since the uh, death of the uh, scientist when. America was first made. Now, of course, uh, there is a lot of other interesting aspects. Um, of course, you might also notice that uh, there are a few mentionings and uh, brief appearances by other uh, characters from the other movies. Uh, of course, the most uh, prominent, of course, is Pepper Potts, um, who, of course, is the uh, same actress, of course, appears appeared in the first two Iron Man movies and it's been reported and of course uh, it was uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s doing to have her in a more prominent role um, in, in this uh, movie uh, good for him he, he, uh, he pulled some strings and uh, got her into it also the uh, the, uh, adult, the uh, older scientist from Thor the, the, the Norwegian scientist who of course had knew a lot of, uh, of uh, Viking lore to help out Natalie Portman's character uh, in the movie, to uh, is also a prominent character in this movie, so you can check him out. And also, Natalie Portman's character from Thor is mentioned um, 
by name and also by a photograph. It, Natalie Portman's not in this movie, but a photograph of her is shown along with uh, some mentionings of what she's been doing um, in the current circumstances. Uh, so that so there is mentionings of uh, other the other characters from the other uh, side characters from the other movies um, featured in this movie. So um, now obviously. Uh, uh, Captain America's, uh, the other characters, uh, actors and characters from the other, from Captain America are not shown, obviously, because, you know, he's from, you know, uh, most of them are all in the World War II era, and they're either dead or old, and I don't think they wanted to go as far as having him, Captain America, having, uh, reunions with elderly versions of his old friends, so I didn't think they wanted to go that far. And, of course, obviously, with the change-up with the Hulk, um, they, uh, I guess, obviously, with the new actor and all, they didn't want to try to have characters like uh, Betty Ross or Thunderbolt Ross or anything like that to uh, to add into the mix either. Uh, they want to basically have the initial uh, Avengers characters in this and uh, and all to um, to hold, to be the center point of this movie as opposed to just kind of breaking off. Uh, of course, if you if you also, of course, if you might also know, uh, uh, Tony Stark has a new uh, Iron Man armor, and it's, of course, the Mark 7, uh, which will debut in this movie, so you don't have to wait till Iron Man 3 uh, for that to be debuted. We're going to see the new Iron Man armor in this. It looks pretty good, uh, as opposed to, does, and of course, if you notice, it's back to the, uh, the uh, round uh, symbol on his chest as opposed to the triangular one that he had at the end of uh, Iron Man 2. Um, now, of course, uh, obviously, it shows how the Avengers get together. Of course, they start off not really getting along with each other. Uh, a lot of misunderstandings. And, of course, it takes something really big to uh, get these guys as a formal firing force to take on uh, both Loki and his uh, alien armada that is... Uh, coming through with the help of the Cosmic Cube. Um, I gotta say, all, you know, as I said, this is a really great movie. Uh, I think, uh, you know, the topper is, of course, the comic reliefs uh, given to mostly through uh, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr.'s character, and, of course, Mark Ruffalo's character of the, not Bruce Banner, but of course the Hulk. Uh, Bruce, uh, Mark Ruffalo, uh, of course, not only played Bruce Banner, but he also wore a tracking outfit for the physical scenes of uh, the Hulk. So he did get a chance to play both characters. And uh, Hulk had a few funny moments in there. Uh, you got to check it out. He, I mean, <laughs> uh, there, and he only has one actual speaking line in it. Uh, and mostly, it's been kind of like the trend in most of the other Hulk productions. The Hulk only actually has a speaking one or two speaking roles. Uh, so if you're going to see hear Hulk say smash, Hulk smash, or or anything like that, you you know don't expect that. But it's going to be a variation of a classic Hulk line if you haven't if you haven't known it already um if you haven't heard about it it's, it's already been reported but uh, i like like for you guys if you haven't seen the movie to keep an eye keep an ear out for that uh when you see this movie uh, of course i did see it in 3d it really works great in 3d uh, especially the parts where you get to see the behind the uh backside of uh, scarlett johansson's character the black widow uh, of course uh <laughs> black widow uh you get to you get to Peer into her character a little bit more too in a few couple of scenes here, so she's a, you know, um, so you get to know how she uh, joins Shield and all that, uh, her and also her connections with Hawkeye, who is, you think oh he's just going to be a, you know oh he's just mortal he ain't going to have much of a role in this well he does have a pretty you know he has a pretty prominent role in this movie as well, uh, not that you expect at the beginning, and uh, but then as you know it just he gets it grows. And there. he turns out to be a pretty good character. I didn't expect it to be much, uh, but uh, he turned his uh, this version of him uh, turns out to be pretty cool um, in this movie as well. And of course, obviously Scarlett Johansson uh, looks a little bit different than she did in Iron Man. Her hair is shorter. Um, I guess I guess maybe the reason why it got her haircut is because her hairstyle made her look like the the lead character in the upcoming Disney movie Brave, and uh, I guess they had to trim her locks a bit so they wouldn't get people confused. <laughs> um, but Scarlett Johansson still looks great in that suit, 
that uh, you know that uh, suit of hers, especially during the uh, when you get a chance to check out her rear end in, in, in the movie. Uh, definitely a good sight to see. Uh, but she is a good act. Scarlett Johansson is a pretty good actress in this movie, and you know it's it's, it's not like just oh she she and Hawkeye are just the, the mortal side characters. You know you know they don't have any superpowers on their own. They're just highly talented, you know assassins and such. Uh, but you know they they do play off pretty good with the rest of the characters, and uh, she even you know even has an interaction with the Hulk. So uh, uh, you can check that out too. Um, you know all I gotta say is great movie. Check it out. It's you know obviously probably the, still the number one movie in theaters and, uh, for another weekend. It's be as how good it is. Uh, let's uh, see how long it take. You know how long it takes to stay number one for it. Uh, and it weeks to come. Of course, it's one of the first movies of the summer. And uh, just stay tuned here for uh, my upcoming review of uh, this past weekend's release of uh, Dark Shadows. I'm uh, sorry, Johnny Depp. And, uh, also, and also stay tuned here for more reviews and whatnot here on the Multiverse. See ya.